Hello grade twos! In this video, we're going to take a look at our project for this week, which is researching an invertebrate animal. So we will call most of these animals bugs. So an invertebrate animal is an animal that doesn't have any vertebrae or sort of a backbone. So things like worms, bumblebees, spiders, all of those are invertebrates. There are other invertebrates like crabs and lobsters that we won't be studying, but anything that sort of falls into that bugs category are the type of invertebrates that you'll be studying. So you're going to choose an invertebrate animal this week and then you're going to research that animal and take notes on that animal. We won't do the final copy of our writing, we'll do that next week, but I do want you to be careful when you're writing down facts in your research to make sure to change the word so that it's in your own words. Let's start by talking about where we get that information. We'll look at that in this video. So let's take a look at some different options for where you can get information on your invertebrate animal. One way to look for information about the animal you've chosen is to go to mrsbarker.ca and if you've chosen one of the main animals that I suggested, there will be information there. If you've chosen sort of an unusual invertebrate animal or a different one that I didn't mention, you'll have to use some different resources. But if you go to mrsbarker.ca and there's a tab called invertebrates, you click there and then I've got those different animals. So this is all resources about butterflies, so it will take you to different links. So I can click there, I can use that information, I take notes as I'd read that, and then I could go back once I'm done using that resource, once I've got lots of facts, and there are different links. So each of these pictures is a different link, or there are sometimes videos, so you could click play, and then the video would play so that you could watch all about your animal. So there's information on spiders, on beetles, on ants, bees, dragonflies, and ladybugs. And then I also have two links to some search sites that you might want to use. If you want to search for extra information, you could click on Kittle or on Safe Search Kids, and you could go there and type in the name of your animal, and then information should come up about that. Just make sure if you're searching on the internet that there's a grown up nearby so that they can sort of supervise you as you're doing that. So, another way you can get information about your invertebrate animal is by going to the website learnalberta.ca. So, you type that into your URL, URL bar learnalberta.ca, you click on English, and then you'll need to sign in. So for Parkland School Division, our code is LA45 for the username, and the password is 4384. And then you'd sign in. And then at the top of the website here, once you're signed in, there's a tab that says Online Reference Center. So I'd like you to go into the Online Reference Center. There are tons to choose from. The one that I found the most helpful is called Pebble Go, and it's for grades kindergarten to grade three. You can use these other ones, and it'll tell you what grades they're for. So you'd wanna make sure it's probably including grade two. Um, so I'm choosing Pebble Go, but you can choose another one if that ends up making sense for you. So I'll cl click on Pebble Go. It'll take a moment to load, and then we're searching for an animal. And insects and spiders. We'll click on insects and spiders. Some of you might be choosing an invertebrate animal that's not here, like a worm isn't an insect or a spider, but many of you will have animals that are featured here. So you can click on that, and then you could choose either insects or spiders. Let's pretend I'm researching ladybugs. So I'll click on that, and then I could click on ladybugs. And then there's a bunch of information here that you can use. If you'd like it to read aloud for you, you can click on the little speaker here. And there's a lot of different media for you to explore. So you could watch this video and take some notes. Another way you could find information about your invertebrate animal is to use Epic. So you'd log into Epic. I sent you some information back in March if you need help logging into Epic. And then you choose who you are. I'm going to click on 2B because I don't have a profile in Epic, but you could click on your own name. And then you'll want to search. So let's pretend I'm doing grasshoppers. I could search grasshopper. And then there are a bunch of books here that I could click. Um, so I double check that it's sort of at the right level. This one's at a level M, so that might be a good fit for me. If it's too hard, I might go back. And then I could go through. And then again, as I'm reading, I sort of make notes um, so that I can record that information. And then once I'm done getting all the information from this page, then I turn the page and collect information from here. And then if I wanna go back, there are still tons of books about grasshoppers. 
So I could click on a different book about grasshoppers to find more information there. Now that you've got some ideas about where to find information, you'll choose an invertebrate animal. And I'd also like you to watch the next video on how to put things into your own words. That's an important thing that researchers do. So you can watch that next video and then you're ready to go off and collect some information. I hope you have fun researching grade twos. Bye.